Hello, Gaz Williams here, and look what I've got. I've got the Vimona DRM1 Mark III plugged into the Rhythm Designer, the RD8 from Behringer. What do I mean plugged in? Well, actually plugged in with MIDI. So the RD8 has got obviously a sequencer in it. The Vimona doesn't. The Vimona is essentially just eight synthesizers, eight drum synthesizers, no means to sequence itself. However, the RD8 can send out MIDI. So, so if I play that pattern again, I'm going to turn the volume of the RD8 off. It's a bit of a manic pattern, but <laughs> okay. And whereas if I play this one, they sound so different. And that's the, the glorious thing with these boxes really is that they are truly different from each other. So look, if I solo the kick. Okay, okay. Classic, classic four on the floor. Longer decay. Now let's feed the DRM in. Pretty cool. Put a bit more flares on it. Drop it back a bit under, tuck it underneath the 808 kick. So I've pulled the decay back more on the RD8. I'm going to take the DRM out. Find the sweet spot for them to sit together. It's a classic 808 snare, but like the Vimona could add some heft to it. It's quite nice, isn't it? So the two together then are really giving a lot more weight in their collective form because they're both bringing something to the party. Okay, so I've just programmed a very quick beat with that kick and that snare layered together. So we've got hats coming from here. But the kick and the snare are collective. Just the RD8. And I could carry on layering things, so bringing in some of the hi-hats as well. Need much of that to make a difference but of course we have got panable voices with the Vimona so we could go <laughs> they are really different devices and thus you can kind of justify using them together because they both do very different things and as much as this sound is glorious, it is quite vanilla in that it is just that 808 kind of sound. The parameters don't let you go that far away from the basic sound, whereas the Vimona is very tweaky with seven different knobs which can affect each voice. And of course, you've got the pan control as well as the individual volume. So bring them in together. Yeah. It sort of just puts like an attitude into it as well. Of course, both totally analog. So yes, I'm Gaz Williams, by the way. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.